Welcome back to Weld.com. I'm Bob over at Frankenfab, and today we're gonna weld some cast iron. We had a, uh, a member request on our, on our forum to uh, weld some cast iron, do a cast iron repair, or even some dissimilar metal work. Um, so today we are gonna simulate a, a little repair. We're just gonna weld these two plates together, and then we're gonna use some mild steel here to uh, build a frame, and then we're gonna use a dissimilar metal rod to to weld everything out. So we're gonna make a little piece of art and uh, kind of hopefully it'll give you an idea of how to get the, the dissimilar metals running and also how to get this cast. Uh, today we're gonna be running post alloy 50s. Uh, this is a cast iron rod and these are eighth inch rod and we're gonna be running probably about 85 amps to lay down everything. Uh, and, and then we're gonna use this dissimilar rod which is also a post alloy rod um, and we're gonna weld this out. So let's get set up and See where we go. All right, this is our Lincoln Tombstone, nicknamed Buzzkill. It's a AC machine, it's a 225. It's a perfect, uh, perfect machine for what we're doing today. Those are AC rods or DC electrode negative. Um, but this is AC, we're running both of our amperages, both of our rods at 90 amps. It's a 220 machine, basic cable setup. It's really nice. Uh, most people got them in their garages or in their shop like me. All right, so typically when you are doing like a cast repair, um, it's because it broke. So this this piece of, actually this is cast aluminum, but it, they give off the same appeal, this very porous, rough, rough textured edge. It's pretty much a, a given that this thing is cast. Uh, but with the metal that we're using today, I had to cut it off. This is a decorative piece of plate. So we already pre-cut this. So they got shiny edge on them. So we're just gonna get these set up. I actually gotta cut down a little bit here so we can get everything squared up. And then uh, we'll be running these two fancy rods here. All right, so we got our uh, cast plates uh, cut down to size. We got everything squared up. Got it in our little homemade uh, vice table here. Um, so what we are going to do is preheat this to, to follow code. We're going to get it up to about 250 degrees and then we're going to use our post alloy fifties and we are going to set down just a nice little bead on each side of this. And then we're going to let it, uh, cool while it's clamped like this. And I'm going to take a pair of old gloves. I'm going to lay it down over the top so that it can cool and not, uh, cool too rapidly. Welcome back. We got our plate here. It's nice and warm, it's cooled off. Obviously not too hot. We're gonna lay down some half by half square rod as our framing. We got a lot of that stuff around the shop, um, but we're gonna use this 
post alloy 301 rod as our dissimilar metals rod. And so we are gonna simulate uh, just tying in two separate pieces of material together. And then we'll build our frame out with this rod and uh, add a little washer and it'll, it'll make a nice little hanging art piece. All right, so we got our cast iron tie-in right here. We used our post alloy 50 rods for the direct cast iron. They're like a 90% nickel rod. Um, and then we used the post alloy 301s for our dissimilar metal where we bonded our cast iron to our mild steel. They both work great, beautiful rod. Uh, hope you got a better concept of how to, to do cast iron if you were doing repairs or if you're doing artwork. Um, or just some sort of dissimilar metals. If you're not sure what you're using or what you're bonding to, but you know it's, it's steel of, of sorts, definitely jump on these 301s. If you have any other questions or you need uh, help with anything, please go to our forum and connect with us at well.com forward slash forum. If you wanna check out our exclusive member content and perks, join our channel and support the well.com community. Thanks for watching.